Hello. In this video, we will describe how you can configure branch IO deep linking to your Flutter flow project. So firstly, we need to have a different GitHub branch with name dev as an example, so that we can add the branch SDK to our project via a coding environment such as VS Code. Here we will use the dev branch to make the relevant changes to the iOS and Android configuration files. Then we will merge those updates to the main branch from where we will publish our application. The domain configuration. Through the branch IO dashboard, we can use a custom domain or we can use the domain which is provided by the branch IO. You can update your domain in the link domain part on branch IO dashboard. The default URL is a fallback URL when none of the iOS Android settings are not working. The Android configuration. So the Android URI scheme is the text from where you can find on your app's Android manifest file. You can add column and double slashes at the end of this text. Here it's this row that is defined in the branch URI scheme part. After publishing your app to Google Play, write its name on Google Play search part and select your app there. You can find your app's SHA256 search fingerprints in your Google Play console setup. App signing part, it's this one over here. The iOS configuration. iOS URI scheme is the text that you entered using the CF bundle URI schemes. Similar to Android configuration, you can add column and double slashes at the end of this text in branch IO dashboard. Then make sure you added these lines to your info plist file for successful integration of the branch SDK. After publishing your app to App Store, write its name on app's Apple Store search part and select your app there. The bundle identifier is the package name of your application that is similar to com.example.app. The Apple app prefix is the team ID of the development team who will be publishing your app. You can follow this link to see the team ID of your development team. Next, you need to enable associated domains through Xcode. To do this, you can clone your GitHub repository for your app to Xcode. Add the associated domains just like in this example. And then you can push the changes to GitHub. After the changes, make sure that runner.entitlements file looks like this one. After these steps, the iOS configuration will be completed. To initialize branch IO on Flutter flow, you first need to add the Flutter branch SDK to your application. Then you need to add a custom action and call this Flutter branch SDK.init function. After that, add this custom action at the final actions part of your main Dart file on Flutter flow. Then to generate a new branch IO link, you need to create a branch universal object which contains information such as the title, image URL, the canonical URL, etc. This information will be shown in the link preview when the user pastes your link to the applications such as WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. The content metadata part is the data that you add to, this, to the link such as a product ID or a business ID, etc. After link generation, you can use Flutterflow's share action to share the generated link. Then, based on the data that you added to your link, you can navigate the users to the relevant deep linked pages. Here you can see that the app state variables are used to save the market ID and product ID data from the link. Then these variables are used to set a condition for a successful navigation. And finally, congrats. After all these steps, branch IO configuration will be done for your Flutterflow project.